Welcome to another track in the coronavirus update. I'm Cameron Brewer inside the WMCT Now Digital Studio. North Carolina has now 3,200 confirmed cases of coronavirus statewide with 46 deaths. There are cases in 90 of the state's 100 counties. The county in the east with the most cases is Northampton with 53. Pitt County now has 44 cases. Researchers are sharing a new prediction for coronavirus deaths in our state. Their model suggests about 500 people will die from the illness. That's down from the original prediction of 2,400 deaths. Governor Cooper said his plan is to reduce cases to keep the health care system from being overwhelmed. Cooper plans on signing an executive order later this week to expand the number of hospital beds. The governor is also preparing a new executive order to limit the number of people who can be in essential retailers at one time. Chains like Target and Walmart are already limiting how many shoppers can be inside at a time. Governor Cooper says the move will protect store workers and customers from spreading the virus. In a press conference, Governor Cooper stated the stay-at-home order is making a difference in preventing the spread of the virus. He's advising everyone to continue to obey the order. The interventions that we have put in place are working. The modeling has shown us that. That's a positive thing, but it is only one snapshot in time. I think it shows us that we've got to continue to be persistent in what we're doing while recognizing that we do need to get the economy going again and that we need to at some point be at a new normal that can help us put people to work but also protect the public safety. I think it will be important and, and I think most everyone is urging states to do what they can. And it's not like our neighboring states haven't done anything. They have done some, some social distancing requirements and some interventions. And we're gonna continue to encourage everybody to do so. The Environmental Protection Agency says it's donating 225 pieces of personal protective equipment to help, to help workers to support the COVID-19 response. A plan is underway for the rapid distribution of available personal protective equipment to FEMA or state and local governments. Protective items include disposable gloves and full body protective cover all suits. This concludes this WNCT tracking the coronavirus update. I'm Cameron Brewer inside the WNCT Now Digital Studio. Thanks for watching.